give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Oh, deflated the camera. Yeah. Ooh, you will not be able to change your character. But it's dumb. <clears throat> Lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. To start the Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Get down here! Hey, shit face. <clears throat> Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <clears throat> Malaka! <clears throat> the Cyclops said you ah. like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Yeah, it's uh, 
<clears throat> Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> what happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> of course. Help yourself. Hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Marcos, who owes me that me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcos' new... beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well... I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming.
Yes, this is the vineyard. Straight ahead. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Icaros the Slayer. Oh, yeah. You go, buddy. Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods! Phoebe I found you, you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you! I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> oh, that's it's not that simple, works. is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. <clears throat> you want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris, you know Zuris, he's very nice. Zuris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly. Everybody benefits. Zuris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? <clears throat> You'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody, Everybody benefits. Of course, my <clears throat> friend. You shall have your pick. Get the pick of horse. <clears throat> Tell me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The 
one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from Thessalonia, bred for its courage. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true yeah. warrior's horse. <laughs> I've made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos? Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, f -terpy. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe's been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. <clears throat> who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. <laughs> Woohoo! I got a new horse. <clears throat> Sneak up on the Malakas. Come on. I don't want to sneak up in anybody in a big fire. Or I'll tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. What? This tall grass will keep me hidden. <laughs> I can't let the rest of those malakas get away. Phoebe out of here. Alexios, I'm here. Untie me. I see you. Hmm. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put the cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since. Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? What's happening? Thank <laughs> you. 
You'll have to be stronger than that. Don't give in. Let him have it. Got you. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Again. Up. Yes, Butter. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Approach me. That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Cassandra. <laughs> and what a feast she will be! No, not her. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Yeah. Lay her in bed. Yes, Father. Alexis. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that.
Come on. Sami, Nuris will be at his shop. Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money, huh? Oh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Duris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you're going to pay. We both know it. The question is, what do I break first? You or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to, to, to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaga. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it, once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. Alexios, good to see you. I told you, I've paid Marcos enough. Ah! All right, all right. I'll pay you, just out. Fine. The man is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Doris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the Drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Alexios, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. It'll take a lot of work. And even then, I'm not sure. We have no option but to try. Then you'd better be willing to help. I won't do all the dirty work. 
I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Alexia! Cassandra! Cassandra! Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha. You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you. How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. Oh, do I? It's nice of me. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? He will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. Hey. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. Ooh. These bows will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you were seeing Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Fix my bow, fix my bow. <clears throat> Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. <laughs> 